How's it going everyone? October 30th, 2023. Look at this Waltana branch. It's basically almost laying on the ground. It was so loaded. Been through like five nights of frost. It was down to 19 degrees Fahrenheit one night and 25 degrees uh, the the first and second night the last two nights it was like down to 21 and 20 and so I guess you can leave some of the apples on the trees and they'll just continue ripening see like the leaves on the tree are still green so apples are quite resilient I got rubiat black strawberry on the other side I'm gonna get to those in a second You'll see how well these apples are holding up to the 19 degree Fahrenheit frost. Let's taste Waltana. This is Waltana. Now these were low to the ground, so they got a lot more sooty blotch. The ones that are a little bit higher up look a little bit nicer. Let's try that one. very sweet tough skin on this one it's like halfway crispy very juicy a lot of juice sweet with a small hint of acidity Not a whole lot of complexity to this apple. It's good. Not too much to complain about other, other than the flesh not being as crisp as I want it to be. And the flavor is good. There's, there's just no, no complexity to it. But in terms of flavor, it's good. Can't complain. And it's always been good. I've tasted it previous years. This is a good apple. And it's late. So, and it's a heavy producer. Look at all those apples hanging all the way to the ground in this small little area. The branch is only that thick. There's the graft union over here somewhere. With all those apples just buried in there probably like 20 apples on there here's suntan I probably have like 15 varieties on this tree here's suntan it has a little bit of russeting on the bottom let's see so this one's very rich A very rich flavor almost reminds me of Cornish aromatic which is right here this is suntan this is Cornish aromatic Cornish aromatic got quite large this year let's try Cornish Cornish is a little softer Maybe not. They're both soft at this stage. They were a little crispier earlier on. Maybe I can taste them a little bit earlier next year. Maybe before the frost. Cornish tasted really good last year though and I tasted it late. But the, the texture is just off. It's too soft of an apple for me. I think I think they're all gonna be like that unless I try to pick one that's a little greener yeah there's even some water core 
too soft. Good flavor, but just not special, I guess. I'm not really inclined to keep eating that. So, Cornish Aromatic is good, but not worth having like a full tree of. Black Strawberry, on the other hand, looks very loaded this year look at all those black strawberries black strawberry look how loaded my black strawberry branch is it has all black strawberries i didn't even thin them i should have thinned them and so there are they're like all sizes oh here's one that's starting to go bad maybe i'll have to pick them they weren't ripe and that's why i didn't pick them before the frost this one's starting to go bad. Maybe I can taste this other side. Yeah, that just kind of went bad. I don't know, maybe black strawberry didn't survive the frost. Let's try this big one. Black strawberry. Look at that. It probably has bug damage but let's see if this one has red flesh some of them have red flesh and some of them don't have as much red flesh I don't know it depends on their position on the tree and how the Sun hits them and whatnot but I've, I've seen that some of them have red and some of them don't so this one has pink flesh still not completely ripe yet the first year i tasted them it was a lot more red inside still very tannic dries your mouth a little bit very sweet though very sweet and you can taste a little bit of the berry flavor starting to come through but this may not be the best apple for our climate because it seems like it was crispy earlier and now the flesh went soft so my guess is that even if it ripens it'll never be crisp because our frost comes in late October usually and this is not ripe so I left them hanging to see if they would ripen up and they're getting close so I'll let them keep hanging see if they will ripen up for me or not black strawberry I will pull the seeds out of this save some seeds because this could be a potential good cross-pollination i have pink lady on here there's wittick pippin waltana suntan sunrise and rubiot right next to it grafted on the same tree and so might have some good genetics here's rubiot these were some of my pollinations. I already took the apples out of there. Rubiot does get pretty large too, but I didn't thin, and so a lot of the apples aren't as large as they should be. Rubiot seems to ripen a little sooner than black strawberry, and so it usually gets its red flesh a lot earlier on. So I technically could have probably picked these before the frost, but. They still weren't quite ripe, so I left them on the tree. Let's see what this tastes like. It has a little bit of a defect, probably bitter pit. And I think they were frost damaged.
these ones do seem like they're getting soft and mealy because of the frost but the color did come through red color I don't know it doesn't taste that good right now it almost has some off flavor I don't even want to finish that they were good that first year when the frost didn't come in early this year they didn't finish ripening try another one yeah they're all right but you can taste the berry flavors in here but the there's too many off flavors in it right now so i probably can't leave this variety on the trees with the frost coming down to 19 degrees Fahrenheit pink lady pink lady though for the most part usually holds up to the frost because they're still quite hard I can try one now it won't be ripe but it shouldn't be frost damaged. Tastes good, but not quite ripe. We have a uh, Wittick Pippin. Here's one with bug damage. So I'll taste this one, see if it's good. Wittwick Pippin. Witwick Pippin. This one's good. Not quite ripe yet. I can't remember what time I tasted it that one year. It was probably closer to December when it was really good. So this is a late ripener. Probably not ideal for climates that winter comes in sooner. It might not have enough time to ripen for you guys up in the north. I'm in northwest Washington and even here I think it struggles to ripen up. It's good right now but still not ripe, a little too acidic. Has enough sweetness though. So I think I've made full circle around the tree and we're back to Waltana. I think I still have some sunrise on the tree. That's, that's sunrise. Sunrise ripens like early September and it's just it's hanging for another month it doesn't fall off so that's kind of cool but it's probably not crisp anymore very sweet like zero acidity but it's soft soft at this stage but this is a really good apple if you pick it on time Right now it's just soft. You can make applesauce. Super sweet. Alright. So. I think that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like my videos. Subscribe to my channel. If you like. My content. Hit the bell. To get notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time.